Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to sketch a graph of a linear function if you've got its equation in general form. Okay, so here we're asked to, uh, to sketch a graph of 5x minus 4y minus 200 equals 0. So different methods uh, are the easiest to sketch graphs depending on what form of the equation you have. For example, in slope-intercept form, uh, you find the y-intercept and then you use the slope to sort of count up and over. Um, if we've got an equation in general form, the easiest way to graph it is by finding the intercepts. Um, and I'll show you why. So remember the intercepts are the places where x equals 0 and y equals 0. Um, and then we'll also find a third point just to sort of double check our calculations. Alright, so I'm going to make a little table of values over here. Just a little xy table. It's big enough for three points. Okay, so the first point I'm going to find is I'll say, well, what about if x equals 0? Okay, and then I'm going to substitute x equals 0 into the equation and solve for y. So we have 5 times 0 minus 4y minus 200 equals 0. So 5 times 0 is 0. We have negative 4y. And then I'm going to add 200 to both sides. If you want to write that down as an extra step, that's totally cool. I'm going to just do it all at once, though. So I have negative 4y equals 200. And then to isolate y, I'm going to divide by negative 4. So I get y equals negative 50. Okay, next I'm going to say, well, what if y was 0. What would we get? So we get 5x minus 4 times 0 minus 200 equals 0. So 4 times 0 is 0. So we get 5x equals, and I'm going to add 200 to both sides again, 5x is 200. Then we divide by 5, and we get x equals 40. So if y is 0, then x equals 40. Okay, so this is actually technically enough to draw my graph, but just because it's easy to make a little mistake, I'm going to find a third point as a check. The way I'll know, the way my third point will help me, is that if all three points are in a line, then I'm good. Uh, if my three points aren't in a line, it means I've, I've made a mistake calculating somewhere. Um, so for my third point, I'll choose... Uh, either an x value or a y value that's kind of a half, about halfway between the two points. Uh, here I've got a nice halfway point that's exactly 20, so I'll use that. But if you didn't, if your halfway point was 16 and a half, you could use 20 or 15 or just some nice number. Uh, just to make the calculations either easier. Just use sort of friendly numbers. So I'll say, okay, what if x was 20? Then I have 5 times 20 minus 4y minus 200 equals 0. So that's 100 minus 200. Maybe I'll write all that down. 100 minus 4y minus 200 equals 0. So that's negative 4y minus 100 equals 0. I'll add 100 to both sides negative 4y equals 100 and then I'll divide both sides by negative 4 and I get y equals negative 25 okay so the reason that the intercepts are a useful method is just because when we substitute 0 we have one of these whole terms that disappears and the arithmetic is really quick to find the value of the other variable um, you notice here it's just a little bit longer when we don't have a term that disappears. But we're not talking really long, we're just talking a little bit longer. Okay, so I've got my points. Now I'll take my ruler. I'm going to draw a sketch of the graph. So my y values go down to negative 50, 
and they only get as high as zero. So I should, it should work if I make each line negative 10. Okay, and then my x values get up to 40. So if I make 10 about that big, it should work nicely. Okay, so my purple point was the point where x equals 0, so it's not side to side at all. It's in the middle, and y is negative 50. So this is my y-intercept. My pinky red point was where x equals 40, so I go over 40, and y equals 0, so I don't go up at all. And if all my calculations are right, this next sort of greeny turquoisey point should be right on this line. So if x is 20, and then y is negative 25. I should be halfway between these two lines. Right about there. And that's perfect. Those line up nicely. So I'll join them. Right there. Um, and we always ex always extend the line past the points out to just about the edges of your graph. I suppose I could have gone a little bit lower, but it's pretty close. Um, so if your points were right here, you'd extend them all the way out to the edges. Okay, so just a quick review. If we want to sketch your graph, sketch your graph of a line that's we've, where we've got the equation in general form, um, we want to make a little table with three points in it. And the easiest points to use, you could use any points. But it's easiest if you substitute x equals 0, and then after you get the y value there, you substitute y equals 0, and find the corresponding x value. Those are your x and y intercepts. And then just to check your work, uh, substitute a point with the x value somewhere in between the two, um, just so it'll fit nicely on your page. Okay, good luck with that.